Yeah. <laughs> we have Abdullah. And Abdullah now, if I put him... <laughs> you see, Abdullah, we have a conversation with a Muslim. Look, you know, we talk. He talk, I talk. Can you do the same? I will give you a chance. Yeah. Let us add Abdullah, the talking machine. Go ahead, Abdullah. Can you no. hear me? Yeah, so... Hi, yeah, so, so, so regarding this verse, right, um, you were talking about, like, um, I'm pretty sure you were talking about, like, um, every living thing created from water, correct? And then you showed, like, a verse of, like, Iblis or, like, Jinn, and then they were, like, created from, like, smokeless fire, right? Correct? Hmm. Yeah, and did you know that flames were actually, uh, like, they're actually made of uh, water vapor, too? What, what? So, technically, it is true. And so all yeah, sorry, did you know that flames are actually made uh, of water vapor? Do you know that? Oh, the flame is made from water? Uh, water vapor, correct. Sorry. Okay, but this is not what the Quran is saying. The Quran tell us what the flame is made from. Yeah, and didn't I send you like a tafsir of Ibn Kathir? Yeah, you can send me as much as you want, but the flame there is described what kind of a flame. No, I'll is. explain to you what, what it means by... Read like, carefully, you know. read carefully, read carefully. Oh, no, 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 don't talk over me. I'm, I'm not please. done talking yet. I'm not done talking no. yet. When, when the Quran says every living thing was created from water, it means that the origin of every living thing is in water. Um, so, flames, for example. Flames, they are actually made from uh, water vapor. So, that is actually accurate. So, technically, uh, and shaitan Yeah, but this, is, but this is... Uh, is okay. Hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. I will, yeah. I will yeah. go with you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you, when, when Allah created water? Um, why does this matter? I just refuted what? you on this point, right? I just refuted you on no, this no, point. You did not. No, and now you you're going to jump, right? You're you going to jump, right? No, no, yeah, no. you're going to jump, dude. Yeah. Then address my whole thing. point. Address my so, point. Wait, wait, wait. Address wait, my wait, point. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait address wait. my point. First of all, you refute nothing. The, yeah, the, yes, the, I did. Yes, I did because I just told you. I just gave you Ibn Kadir Tafsir, right? Which says that every... Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Bro, dude, you got refuted. I want to show me. You I want you to show me. And also, Abdul. we weren't even done with our, uh, our you know, divine Jesus. Abdul, like, wait, do that? wait, wait. Oh, are you sure? I you want, want you to show me the, 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 I want you to show me the reference that this is a normal fire. Go ahead. Normal fire? Yes. Show yeah, me yeah, the Quran. The, flame of the, fire, the yeah. Quran, the Quran yeah, with the description. The of Listen, so are you saying to me that the fire only happened if there is water? Okay, so fire was um, it's made of like uh, like what's it called again? Like water vapor. Yeah, correct. Hmm. So the, the origin so, of fire is why Allah he is vapor. saying. And also he, other he, stuff he, okay, I will go with you. Listen, I'll, if I'll this read, is, I'll read if this is right? true, if this is a true, don't tell me. I don't tell me. Dude, let me speak. If let me speak. A, if this is a true, why he say I this. made him from fire? No, let why me speak, idiot. Yeah. Listen, flames you just, consist primarily just speak, of carbon just dioxide. Let me speak. Let me speak. Wait, wait. Flames you did already. primarily, you did already. Right, you primarily did. of uh, carbon did. dioxide, water vapor, oxygen, and nitrogen. Okay, okay. So, okay. Mr. Mr. Oxygen, right. can you show me the reference that Muslim believe that shaitan is created from water? Dude, did, did you not hear what I said? I just told you. Yeah, I gave you Ibn Kathir, right? Which says that what it means okay. by like every living thing was created from water. It means that the origin of every living thing is in water. Okay, give me Ibn Kathir. Okay, you said Ibn Kathir. From, you, you, uh, said Ibn, you said Ibn Kathir. Can, can we open Ibn Kathir? Can we open, so, Ibn, Kathir? open Ibn, Ibn Kathir? Yeah, it's in... Uh, oh. let, let me find the text for you. It's in... Uh, so, Surah 21, verse um, 30. No, yes, we will open not. the same verse. Really we will not. open the same verse. Hold on. Yeah, Abdul. no problem. No problem. We will open the same verse. Okay. Yep. First, and we can go to different verses. No problem. Twenty-one thirty. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, CP. This is the Okay. Let's okay, you, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. And I want you. I want you to tell also, everybody. Also, I want to discuss with you like the the thing, the creation of Adam. Listen, 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 listen. Also, I want you to. You I want you to promise ready. that you accept Ibn Kathir. Yeah. Let's see. No, no. Do you accept Ibn Kathir? Promise me. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what verse are you going to now? Wait, what verse are you going I'm to I'm asking you. Do you accept Ibn Kathir? What verse are you going to now? Listen. Oh, you're going to change you... the subject now. You're I'm going to change not. the subject. I opened, yeah, the verse, the subject. I opened the verse you asked me for. Do you accept Ibn Kathir? What verse? You didn't open the verse. You opened Do 15. you accept Ibn Kathir? You opened 15, 16. That's not the verse I told you. Do you accept Ibn Kathir? Dude, you didn't open the verse. Open, bro, open 2130. Open 2130. Open 2130. Do you accept Ibn Kathir? Open 2130, dude. 
before we put in the screen, do you accept it? Because you would change your mind after two seconds. Yeah, I accept it because it's literally like the majority of scholars who hold okay. it. As a consensus, okay. as a, he he accept he accept Ibn Kathir. So whatever Ibn Kathir he say, he will accept. You days. promise? No, I, I never do said that. Have... I never said that. Ibn so Kathir can make mistakes. Ibn Kathir can make mistakes, but he didn't make a mistake potato, on this potato, one. Potato, 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 potato. You don't accept anything. I never said he doesn't make make mistakes. He's a scholar. Ah, right? he made mistakes. Mistake. Ah, he made mistakes. Of course he does, because he's a human, you idiot. So but what are you are that. quoting? Yeah, look, look, let me shut give up. you an example. Let me give you shut an up. analogy. No, don't give me an example. Shut professor. up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Hold on, I have to put you up. Do you see the cowards? Let us quote Ibn Kathir, but Ibn Kathir make mistakes. So how come he make mistakes and you are asking me to quote someone he make mistakes? Maybe the answer you want is a mistake too. <laughs> he make mistake, you know, he make mistake. So why you are quoting him? Either you accept what this guy, if he is, either he is your sheikh, he is your scholar, or he is a dummy, stupid idiot. You are just an idiot. You don't dare to say, I accept what Ibn Kathir say, he make mistake. Well, I can say now to you, the answer you will give me from Ibn Kathir is a mistake because you just confirmed that this guy is an idiot. He makes a lot of mistakes. So either you accept him or you don't accept him. You are just a fraud. Like your father. If we read together, this is Ibn Kathir. It says here, he is a created from a smokeless flame that kills. Where is the water? No water. And he continues saying, and the jinn were created earlier from a smokeless flame of fire. The following is found in the Sahih. Read carefully. The angels were created from light. The jinn were created from a smoke. There's a flame of fire. Where is the water in Nicathir? And the smoke is a flame is about nothing involved water. And as you see, actually, here we have another confirmation that angels are made of light. So is light made of water too? So Ibn Kathir, he got you busted in both. And now you will say, I don't accept Ibn Kathir. I will put you back. I want you to say, I accept Ibn Kathir. Say it. Okay, so can, can, I, can I talk? Okay, you need to stop muting yeah, me. Yeah. So, yeah, I tell you to talk. You start so, talking so me, fast. Me, don't talk fast. Let me explain to you. Okay, okay so let me explain uh, to you. Right? Ibn Kathir, uh, Abdullah, he's a good Abdullah. scholar. Yeah. Abdullah, Abdullah. Yeah. I think I think you have a, I, I think you have a mental issue. You can control your tongue. No, I think slowly. you have a comprehension problem. Speak slowly. Okay, Speak cool. slowly. So, Speak slowly. Okay. So Ibn Kathir, right? Um, mm. The thing with Ibn Kathir, right, is that we accept him to be a good scholar, right? And we know this isn't. Um, he didn't make a mistake here because there's an ijma, and whenever there's an ijma in the religion, it is a proof. It it is dalil, so we take it as dalil. Okay. Wonderful. Also, Wonderful. Also, can, can I explain okay. my second point? Can I please? Okay, no, no, no. Well, hold, hold on. Please, we, we have a conversation. I'm not, I'm not we have a, I'm not finished we have a conversation. We have a conversation. We have a conversation. Listen, I want you to show me the ijma. All the Muslims agree that the flame is made from water. The mic is yours. Go ahead, dude. I, I get. I said there's ijma that the verse. Uh, every living thing was great from water means that the um, building blocks, right, or the origin for every living well, thing. I don't, I don't hear you. What? That's what I meant. Mean the that's mean what? the organ? Mean the organ? Uh, no, the origin. The origin of every okay. like. Let uh, me ask you: Is the stones? Is it? Is it stones? Living things? Uh, stones aren't living things. No. Is what? Stones aren't living things. Does the verse are not? Things. They could are. They to, are not. Could you go to twenty-one thirty, please? My friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're on the wrong verse. Yeah. I want to, I'm trying, you see, I don't want to hang up on you. Stop speaking so fast. You are mentally, you know, have a mental to, problem. Right, you have Annoying. a mental problem. Is, is it stones? Is it stones? Living, is it stones? Living things. Make it clear. No, stones aren't living things. And could you go to okay. the 21? Please? If you're a prophet, he speak to the stones, and the stones, they pollute him. 
go go to 2130 please did did your prophet speak to the stones and the stones salute him stones salute him i mean miracles yes. can happen a lot can, god can do everything right you agree with that right so he can I'm make asking you okay is the stone if this I'm yeah, asking yeah, you, yeah. if god if god if the wants stone is to not a living right? thing it, it, okay. okay if the stone is not a living thing the stone speaking to okay. who yep. saluting who no you just said like muhammad what right. you didn't you just say muhammad like is speaking to muhammad right so yeah 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 so I mean, what's the problem here? Like you said that God can do everything. So what's the problem? Well, this I is mean, not about make... God. You see, this he is a make... stone. This is not God. This stupid idiot. This so is a stone. Make... Yeah, the stone. Make talk. The stone. Make okay. Is the stone yeah. speaking really to Muhammad or he is making things up? Yeah. If I mean, Muhammad is a prophet, is a prophet. Okay. He's a messenger of God. So God, okay. if he wanted to make the stone speak, then the stone, then the stone can speak. Okay. okay, show me where it says that Allah He made the stone speak here, and this is not all the stones. Yeah, just because it doesn't say it doesn't mean like um, He didn't do it. That's an argument okay. for silence. Listen, That's where where from. you get the interpretation from? Where do I get the interpretation? Well, dude, He's a messenger of God. That's so where what? I get it from. So, yeah, so what? If He because He's sent from God, so obviously okay. God will. Um, okay, uh, hold on. Okay, guys, He is a messenger of God. Okay, we got that now. Yeah. But don't you think, don't you think that a person, you see, you see, hold on, hold on. A person, a person who is receiving a, a, a greeting from Allah, and the greeting from Allah is coming from a stone, assalamu alaikum, is, are you saying that Allah was in the stone? Uh, no, but Allah made the stone speak. So what's the problem? What's like illogical about that? Okay, so was the stone speaking by itself or the stone was not speaking? Uh, Allah gave it the power to speak, so yeah. Okay, so is the stone now is a living being? Um, is it a living being? Uh, well, so how the stone is talking? You, are, you just say, uh, I mean, you just say to me. I mean, it doesn't just, have to be you living. Just say, you right? just say to me, Allah, He gave it the power to speak, correct? Yeah, and it doesn't have to okay. li be living to speak. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So is the stone when when the stone uh, I mean, is my speaking? My speakers can be like playing music, right? But it's not like living, correct? Uh huh. What? Yeah, I mean, the stone doesn't have to be living to talk. I mean, for example... So it, uh, okay, uh, okay, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Do you well, Muslims, do you Muslims punish stones for sin? Pardon? Do you Why Muslims you punish it? Do you know... You went from speaking stones to like, do we punish stones? Like, I don't understand. I'm asking you, do you Muslims like, like, punish stones for... Like do you, do you Muslims punish stones for... Do you Muslims punish stones for sin? Um, do we punish stones are living things? So, why you punish it? Okay, what? so now we have a stone, we have a stone saluting your prophet. Okay. Why the stone saluting your prophet? Do you know? Uh, because God gave it the power to, okay, and why, 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 okay, what do you mean, why? Because God gave okay. it the power to do it. I don't understand, okay, like in is... the Bible, donkey store, okay, is the stone, is, is the stone a water? Stone of water, it doesn't say it. I don't, I don't know. Like, is the stone a water? Could you show me a verse? Don't Could tell me, show me a verse. I'm asking you a question. This is stone. You said to me, every living thing is made from water, right? Yeah, I, know, I never said stones were living things. Okay, yeah. so is the stone is, is a stone the source of water? W what are you talking about? I'm asking you, say yes, say no. Uh, what, dude? Well, I asked the question again. Uh, I, I is, the, is the stone yeah. is the stone the source of water? Um, I haven't studied enough science, or so you, you you're gonna have to answer that. What? I haven't studied enough science, so you're gonna have to answer that. It, what do you mean like you have stone. to? Yeah, suddenly yeah, you do not the know the answer. I'm asking you a question. Very simple. Uh, I asked you: Is the stone a living thing? You said no, correct? Yeah, it's not a living thing, correct? Okay. Yeah. And is the stone water? Is the stone, stone the water. source of water? The source of water. Yeah, are you are you asking this like from an Islamic perspective or like science? You know, I am asking from atheist perspective, Mr. Abdullah. No, no, no. Answer, answer the question. Obviously, you, you are a Hindu because the chapter of the cow is the biggest chapter. Come on, don't play. You're just a kid. No, answer, is the answer stone, the question. Is answer the, the question. stone that stores of water? Are you, are you asking me from like a, a scientific perspective or an Islamic? Perspective? You know why you are not going to answer because you are afraid. No, I'm, I'm going asking to give you a question, you, idiot. I need a I'm not one asking I, I that question. Ask question you, you know, answer me. Don't force me to hang up on your kid. 
Is the stone the sword of water? Is the stone the sword of water? But it is the stone. Coward, coward. You're the coward video. You kick everyone out. Bro, you never go into anyone's stream, man. You change the subject, right? We came. We. You stupid, you donkey. You are the one who said you want to talk about every living thing. Do you see the stupid? It's you who said you mentioned the living thing, and we are talking about every living thing from water. You donkey. You are the kind who sleep with the goat. You think it's your, your wife, the same as your prophet. You, you, you imagine things. You stupid donkey. Isn't it you who called me and said, you want to talk about from the water every living thing is made? We are talking about it. So here we go. The stone is saluting your prophet. I said, is the stone living thing? You said, Allah, he made a stone. You know, you say that. Allah, he made the stone say that. Everybody say, heard you. So now to confirm, I'm asking, is water made from every living thing, including the stone? Let us make it simple. Is the water coming from stones? Is the water coming from stones? I will give you the mic. Open your radio machine. Blur, 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 blur. You know, you, when you speak fast, it just you are trying to, you know, to protect yourself from the embarrassment. You don't want to answer. So we are in the topic, and we are in the core of the topic. Is the water coming from the stones? Is the source of water is the stones? The mic is yours. Go ahead. Wait, so I'll ask the question again. I wasn't, I wasn't listening. I was like grabbing. Ask the, the question again. Ask the yeah, question ask again. again. Yeah, because you, I wasn't here. Because you put me on the stage. I'll... No, you were here. You can hear me. I have the question. I repeat it a thousand times. Is Dude, the water? Let, Abdul, well, Abdul, shut up. This me. is the last time I will I will block you forever. I want to talk to you again if you don't read it. If you if yeah, you if you're you scared, don't stop yeah. you're scared to the baby. You're scared to go on so other people's feet. Right? Yeah, you're scared, the, man. I, I know you're shivering stone. deep in down. Is the stone? I know you're shivering. I know you're shivering. I know you're shivering because you never go on other Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you make EA Dawa? What what shivering mean? But they don't know that. What shivering mean? I want you to tell me what shivering mean. Go ahead. It means you're scared, right? It means. Okay, thank you. Guys, the one who is scared is shivering. So, why Muhammad, when he saw the angel Jibreel, he was shivering? What the angels did to him exactly? This is a different topic. We can finish it after we finish the stone. You are in the corner. I will grab you from your tail, like as always I do to you, Muhammadan. I am asking. Is the water coming from the stones? Is the source of water in Islam is coming from stones? Mike is yours. Wait, wait, but, but that's hypocrisy. Didn't your prophets in the Bible also get scared when an Abdul answered the question? Look. Here we go. Eh, he will not answer. Let me show you this coward why he will not answer. He already answered, actually. Because the Quran says that the water is from the stones. This potato is a donkey. He do not know. And not only that, the Quran says not a single thing but praise Allah. Not a single thing. Not the living thing. Anything. The stones, everything. They worship Allah and they praise Allah. And this is the chapter of Al-Isra. So, when we ask you about the stone saying assalamu alaikum to your prophet, you said, uh, Allah, he made it speak. It's not a living thing. The Quran say the opposite. To the Quran. Chapter 17, verse number 44. Let us translate. Everything in heaven, everything in the earth, everything pray to Allah. And whatever is inside them, they are a living thing. You are a coward liar. Now, we continue. Allah, he offer Islam to the mountains, the trust of Allah, to the mountains and to the sky. Is the mountains living thing? You said rocks are not. Everybody heard you. Mountains are rocks. Everybody heard you. Chapter 33, verse number 72. We did indeed offer the trust to the heaven and the earth and the mountains, 
but they refuse to undertake it. Being afraid, therefore, but man undertook it. So you coward, you potato, you want to call a Christian prince. You are not even in the height of my shoes. The Quran confirmed that the mountains is a living thing and they worship Allah and mountains are rocks. The earth, all of it, is a living thing and it worship Allah and the sky and everything in both. And the one who accepts the trust of Allah is the foolish man. So Allah, he offered Islam to the mountains, to the rocks, to the earth, to the sky. They refused. You see, in order to refuse an offer, you have to be a living thing. People, do we agree? You see, uh, it says it clearly, but they refuse. How you can refuse something? You don't even understand. In order to accept or to refuse, you have to have a brain. You have to be a living creature. Correct? So when you say the rocks are not even thing, you confirm that your God is a fraud. And this is why, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Each time this guy, because he's terrified, you know, he's, he knows he know I'm going to get him busted with something. So he will not say, what do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean that uh, the, 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 the water is uh, from the rocks? What do you mean, what do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean what the Holy Spirit mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean the uh, uh, son of God mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? You know, always they try to dodge the question, which they come with, by what do you mean? Suddenly they do not know what son of God means. Suddenly they do not know what every living thing means. Suddenly they do not know what the Quran means. And suddenly Ibn Kathir, is good when they want, and he is not good when they want. So do you accept Ibn Kathir? Not really. So why you are quoting him? Ibn Kathir make mistakes. So are you quoting his mistakes? Who is the one who will be the judge? You? You are just a potato. You do not even know how to read your book. You cannot even read your prophet name correctly. So Ibn Kathir make mistakes, and you are the donkey who is correcting Ibn Kathir? So why your name is not in their books? You know, you should have your name there. We should forget about Ibn Kathir because you correct him. Uh, and not only that, if we go, actually, there's more verses, which is proving Islam to be stupid, you know. If we go to the different verse in the Quran, according to the Quran, water is coming from rocks. And now he would say, it doesn't say that, CV, you know, as usual. Let us read together. <laughs> Chapter 2, verse number 60. Moses, he struck a rock. A rock. A what? A rock. And twelve spring came out of the rock. Not from the ground. Not from the earth. It is a rock. Chapter 2, verse number 16. Let us continue. We are not done. Uh, let us go to this one here. Uh, <laughs> where is the one? Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> The stone is speaking to a prophet Allah. You know, Allah, he made the stone talk about that. Ah, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Read and let us love together. They become like rocks and even worse in hardness. For among rocks are there are some which rivers gush forth. The translation is not really accurate. The Quran saying, from the rocks, water come gashing forth. And we showed you how Moses, he hit the rock, and the rock gave 12 spring. Let us continue. 
I ask him, do you Muslims punish the rocks for sin? He said, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you know, it is see. The stone stole the cloth of Moses. Now he will tell me that the stone, you know, Allah, he made her take the cloth. This is not the stone. It's not a living being. Well, if this is the case, so why Moses beating the stone and talking to the stone? Let us read together. So the Jews, they accuse Moses that he have a problem in his testicles. May Allah bless his testicles. And Allah wanted to prove that Moses, he have nice testicles. So once Moses, he decided to take his shower in secluded area as usual. He took off his clothes. He put his iPhone, his wallet, his pants, his shoes on the rock. The rock, brother, took the clothing and flee. Took what? Took the clothing and flee. Moses ran after it, saying, Stone, my clothes, oh stone, my clothes. Banu Israel, the children of Israel, they have a chance now to see the private parts of Moses, which means his anus and his penis and his testicles. Everything is exposed. Subhanallah. Moses does not suffer from any element, and the stone is then stopped. And then Moses, he did hit the stone with six or seven strokes. And Muhammad, he witnessed that they are there until now. Moses is beating the stone for what reason? Is that because he is punishing the stone or he is rewarding the stone? <laughs> and you know, Abu Huraira, he said that the Prophet said, I swear by Allah, the marks are still there. <laughs> and now he will say to me, this is metaphorical. So the stone they talk in Islam. And not to forget the black stone. The black stone is a living being, and actually it is the right hand of Allah. Muhammad, he said, that the black stone is the right hand of Allah, is going to have eyes and tongue, and is going to witness literally, not metaphorically, in the day of judgment. And there is something more important. We made every living thing from water. Is the Quran a living thing or dead thing? According to Islam, Quran is eternal. According to Muhammad, Quran will come back as a living man. Is that correct? Is a man a living thing or not? Muslims, when the Quran come back as a man, is he a living thing or he is a dead thing? And when you're a prophet, he says, as a feed man, dead man, you know, like a man who like coming from the grave. He looks ugly. He looks scary. Is he living or he's dead? Now he will not dare to say anything. He will, he, he will dodge the question the same as he did before. So uh, let us show the hadith, actually. Is the Quran made from water? Let us see. And by the way, the Quran is not going to come as one man, it's going to come as billions of men. Because this will happen to every individual. His Quran will come to him as a man. His Quran, not the Quran. Let 
me see if I can find it here. Okay, let us see. Um, I have it in Arabic, but I'm trying to find it in English. Here we go. The Quran will come on the day of resurrection like a pale man and will say, I am the one that kept you awake at night and made you thirsty during the day. But this Quran will come to every man, not one Quran. Is the Quran made from water? Then we have to go and ask the main question. Every living thing is made from water. Is soul a living thing? Yes. It's a living thing. Is it made from water? No. And you know, there is some creatures actually, water has nothing to do with their their structures. And they are living things. They kill a human being, they destroy him. So, uh, the Quran is just a stupid book. In the appearance, it's fine. The second you start asking questions, it's really stupid. And you know, Muhammad, he speaks to the stones and the stones salute him. Isn't it, this is a clear sign that he is mentally ill? I mean, what the point? The stones saying to, only to Muhammad saying to him, Assalamu alaikum, Prophet of Allah. And only one stone does that to him. Shouldn't they be, this is a miracle, the Muslim should add it to the Kaaba? The black stone never spoke to Muhammad. There is a stone in the way into Mecca, salute Muhammad every day, say to him, Assalamu alaikum, O Messenger of Allah. Shouldn't the Muslims go crazy to see it? Where is the witnesses? Which one is more important reading, the black stone or this one? The black stone doesn't talk now. This is a miracle if this is true. The stone saying, Assalamu alaikum. So this guy, he hear things nobody hear. He's mentally ill. I recognize the stone in Mecca, which used to pay me salutation, salutation, sorry, before my advent as a prophet, and I recognize that even now. <laughs> what the stone does? Assalamu alaikum, O Prophet of Allah. Oh, stone, how are you doing? How you know I'm Prophet of Allah? Well, I'm a smart stone, okay? How come only you is the only one who knows I am Prophet? Oh, because the, the, the stones around me, they are illiterate. They did not go to a Paris or university. You know, I'm the only educated stone in this mountain. Excuse moi, you know? And you notice this. This guy, he didn't want to talk about the hail coming from the mountains in heaven. He might talk about the living thing. Because when he called, we were talking about the hail coming from mountains in heaven. He skipped that because this is embarrassment. He cannot play, he cannot play around it. <laughs> Let us take Ahmad. He is waiting here for long. Hello, Ahmad. Am I on? Yes, you are on, Mr. Ahmad. Go ahead. Took you long enough. Um... Just going back to the origin of this video, well, what are you talking about? We were talking about the spirit and the ruh. Okay, go ahead. Okay, what is the spirit in Islam? It's something in you that when you are born with, when you, when you die, it's taken out of you. Okay, is the spirit a wind? No. Your brother, he's a Muslim, he is the one actually, he made me come with this topic. He said that the word ruh is an Arabic word mean wind. And Allah, he moved things and he created things by the wind. That's not true. Not a true. Okay, so you confirm that ruh is not a wind. Anyone who has such an understanding is a false person. Ruh, uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Uh, so what is Ruh according to you? Spirit. But it's not wind. What is the difference between wind and spirit? Uh, 
I mean, uh, I don't really know the word for wind in Arabic, so not too sure. You do not know the word for wind in Arabic? Nope. Okay. So okay. they're different. Ruh and Ri are different. What is different between them? You just said it, Ru and Ri. Yeah, I mean, as an as a like a pronunciation, you, pronunciation, you are right. It is different, but are, what, is it different in structures in description? What is the difference between them? What do you mean? What's the difference? Wind is completely different from from spirit. I don't, I don't understand the question. Okay, uh, there is someone told me that the word uh, the the wind is from the spirit of Allah. Okay. Okay, but you said that the wind is not a spirit. Yeah. So how the wind is from the spirit of Allah if it's it's not from not it's not it, it it isn't it's it's from. See the okay. From? Well, if I take I take wind from the spirit of Allah, that means the spirit of Allah is wind. No, it's like saying you know if I send you a message, it's from me. It's not actually me. Okay, but the wrong. message the message is a message, right? Yeah. Is a part of messages. What? It have the same nature. So if I take if you if you have the same, you wrote a book, have a thousand pages, you send me one page. The page have the same nature of the rest of the pages, correct? Okay, I guess. Okay. So the wind is re is from the spirit the ruh of Allah so if the wind is different thing as you said and you said this is not right you know the one who's saying that is not you know not accurate uh, if this is not uh, as you said in the beginning then how the wind can be from the spirit if the spirit and the wind are not the same how the how the spirit generate wind I something that I don't know also is this Sahih or what, what are you trying to is what is this Sahih? What are you showing me on the screen? This is Daif, sir. Hadith, Daif. Show me, please. Yeah, Daif. I just show you Daif. So what we will do now? Daif. What, what Daif mean? What Daif mean? Daif mean it's weak. What weak mean? <laughs> it means no, no, I'm trying no, to understand. I'm, I'm, I'm new with this topic. I do not know much about Islam, so yeah, I'm learning. Yeah. So yeah, what, yeah. what weak mean? What weak mean? Yeah, yeah. You study Sharia and you don't know. Okay. Yeah, so, what we, mean? so the chain of narration has people who are untrustworthy. Okay, are you saying to me that your Muslims are not trustworthy and you say things you're No, but there's people who are from from the time of the, 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 the messenger that were, you know, monophic. You know, were, okay, were, so why why you why the good ones of you are copying the monophic words? If they are monophic, everybody know them. So why we copy what they say? If it's die if you don't copy. So why it's there? Because I just told you, there's people from before that. You just said you don't. You just said, Muhammad. You just said we don't copy it, but it's there. It's there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you said we don't copy them. So you copy them. You write it. You publish it. You print it. You translate it. And then when we read it for you, you say it is. You know, this is weak. Okay. Anyway, this is not actually weak. This is Hassan and Sahih, both. Okay. So what we will do now? No problem. I didn't disagree with anything at the start, anyways. Okay. No, what do you mean? You disagree already. You said to me oh. that wind and spirit is not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. Okay. So how wind is from the spirit of Allah? Explain to me. Go ahead. Okay. So the wind is derived from the spirit. How? How? What do you mean arrived? I don't. Arrived. I don't, derived. It means uh, it's. Uh, how do I explain derived? I don't know in Arabic. Or, derived means okay. part of, you know. Okay, so that that's mean the word the wind is part of the spirit. It's, okay. It says from. It says from, right? Yeah. Okay. So if I say now I'm drinking this uh, glass of water from the faucet, that means this water here and the water in the faucet is the same, correct? Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You're saying completely different things. You're saying it's from means it's part of the same thing, but this from could be. From someone like if I say if I is like what I said if I send you a message am I a message I'm not a message I'm not a bunch of messages mm. I'm, a, I'm a person 
but I sent mm. you a message. It's from me. You know what I mean? So. Okay, no problem. I will go with you. So, okay. is the spirit by itself the spirit of Allah? Is it a creature by itself? It's a creation. It is the creation. Yep. So, spirit is the creative. Yep. And the wind is coming from the spirit. Yep. What is the connection? I don't know. Well, you are the Muslim. I mean, don't you see re? No, look. If 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 the messenger says something like this, things that are just you know ambiguous and you don't know the meaning. To I'm not uh, an alim to know everything. Okay, I will go with you. You see, I, I respect you that you are a person who don't claim, and you okay. We we will solve it. So I will go with you, Mr. Ahmad. You tell me what is the spirit. You say the creation. Uh, yeah, creation. Okay, can that creation die? No. Well, creation, die. I don't think so, no. no. Do your God have a spirit? He has all the spirits, what do you mean? No, no. Is he a spirit? Oh, no, no, he's not. He's not. So, a spirit is something separated from Allah, correct? Yep, definitely. Okay. Did Allah create Adam or the spirit created Adam? No, he, he commanded the creation of Adam. Uh, how he commanded? What do you mean how he commanded? He commanded everything. Everything is by his what? will. What? Explain to me. I don't understand. Give me okay, so if he commanded something, he could send uh, Jibreel, and then uh, he would, you know... Uh, is Jibreel a spirit? Is Jibreel a spirit? Uh, is Jibreel a spirit? No. It's not a spirit, no? but he does have a soul, I think. Okay. So what is the Ruh al-Qudus? It's Jibreel. So Ruh al-Qudus is a spirit then? I guess, yeah. Fine, yeah. But you just said no. Look, I didn't think about it properly. So, yeah, you're okay. right. Yeah, so, I take, I okay. take back what so, I said. I asked you, is the, uh, is the spirit will die? You said no. Okay. Okay. Is the breed and the angels will die? Okay. Um, see, I know what you're saying. Hmm. Um, maybe Ruh al is just, it's just a title. Huh? Maybe it's just a title, you know, like son of son of man, son of God, you know, the way you give titles to, to, to Jesus. Maybe it's just a title the same way. Yeah, but what, you know, I mean, I, my question now specifically. Uh, 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 you know, Jibreel is an angel, correct? Yeah, every, everyone, everything dies. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. everything dies. So, now we take the back, we take back what we said before. You said uh, the angels don't die. Now you said they die, right? Yeah, yeah. They die or get killed? Sorry? They die or they get killed? <sighs> get killed? Yeah. There must be a killer. Who's the killer? We will see who's the killer. I'm asking, do he die normally, like ever okay. asked? Like so, I, I... so when the trumpet is 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 is, uh, is blown, or uh -huh. or is saying, I, every, every everything dies. Well, according to your prophet, Allah will slaughter the angel. Please provide evidence. Okay, Allah, He will bring him in the shape of a. Um, uh, lamb, the angel, he will come as a lamb, and Allah will slaughter him. Uh, the scene. By the way, what, what time is, the, is it? What is the angel I find the reference, uh, Ahmed? What is the, what is the uh, angel nature? Nature? It's yeah. a very broad question. I don't know. Nature? What about uh, the Quran describing the spirit? If you don't know the nature, what does that mean? The Quran called to breed uh, the Muslim's claim, and you are a Muslim. Yeah. Um, uh, Alhamdulillah. You call him a spirit, Holy Spirit. You claim that when the Quran says, uh, Holy Spirit, he means Jibreel, right? Yeah. 
So there's two things about him. He is holy and he is a spirit, correct? Okay. Oh, he's holy. Because he's from... Oh, how is he holy? Yeah. Because he's an angel. Well, isn't it the angels they accuse Adam falsely that he would do mischievement and Allah he punished them, he made them bow down to Adam? Whoa, 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 what? Say that again. Isn't it, isn't it Allah? Uh, he was, he punished the angels, he made them bow down to Adam. Punished? Uh, yeah, he punished them because they accused Adam that he would do mischievement. Oh. Oh. Yeah. They accused Adam, he would do mischief. And Allah he said to them, I know not what you know. And yeah. then he told them the, the names or the uh, things. And then he told them, tell me that the, the name of the things that you are truthful. So Allah, he accused the angels not to be right. truthful, correct? Right. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. That's mean angels are not holy, correct? That's not necessarily true. Okay, no. so how would you believe became Holy Spirit? Uh, look, the Holy Spirit is... It's just he's a, he's a spirit and he's holy. I don't I don't get what's the issue. Hmm. Like if 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 the angel said that maybe like why did you create him to cause mischief in the land? You know, just because he asked that doesn't mean he's not holy. Uh, can you kill death? <sighs> can you kill death? That's a illogical yeah. question. No. Illogical. This is your prophet, and I will show you about the angel too. Read for me, please. I have it in the screen for you. What do you want me to read? Allah Messenger said, go ahead. Okay, on the day of resurrection, death will be brought forward in the shape of a black and white ram. Death will be brought forward in the shape of a black. Okay, maybe, okay. Okay. Just keep going. You're not going to make yes, a point? Yes, okay. And? He will come in the shape of a ram, and he will be slaughtered. Okay. How? What? What does that mean? How you kill death? What is that? Is that I death as a person? <laughs> I don't even know. To be honest. <laughs> are, you get, are you getting busy, Ahmed? You are a nice guy. You are welcome here. So what, thanks. How you can kill? What? What? You know, this is really weird, isn't it? Like you know, you kill death. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but this I mean death is a person, right? Well, look. To be honest. Wait, if he says he can bring back a stone as a person, I don't think he's going to have trouble bringing back death. But I just don't bring... know what death is. That's the only issue that I don't understand. But, but you say this is not logical, correct? Yeah, it's not very logical. Yeah, so what is the logic of this? I mean, what uh, actually... Like, so I mean, there's some things that we just can't can't comprehend, so... You know. No, I mean, you see, like, you see when a the Muslim, they say, like, uh, I, I can understand. If uh, if we say we cannot comprehend how God he can do like create this massive you know universe right, uh, you know, but here he is talking to us, telling us he is telling us he's explaining. So if the explanation cannot be comprehended, then Allah he do not understand, and he don't have the capability of explaining himself, because he is explaining to us our bring death, our slaughter death. And then you, you, he called, you know, Muslims call it the Holy Spirit, the Jibreel. And then we find that angels are not really holy and they are no, committing they are sin. Holy. No, they are not. I just, I yeah, shall, you know, I thought, huh? How, what's the sin that they committed? You okay. If I that. say to you, if I say to you, Ahmad, tell me, uh, uh, okay, uh, if you if you say to me, uh, I know this person, and I say to you, okay, tell me his name if you are truthful. Aren't I challenging you to prove that you are truthful? If you are not, tell me the name. You are not truthful. Do we agree? Just show me the verse. Show me the verse. Well, you know, so because you want to change the, your answer after you see the verse, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do the same as Abdullah? <laughs> smart guy. You're a smart guy. Uh, hold on. Which surah is this? Chapter 2. Oh, okay. 
uh, verse number 31. Allah, he said to the angels, because they said he is no, he want to show them that they do not know. He said to them, I know what you know not. And then he taught Adam all the names of all things. And then he placed them before the angels and he said, tell me the names of these if you are right. Mm -hmm. The answer actually, it's not I right. This is the translation is false. I don't know if you speak Arabic. It says, in kuntum sadiqin, if you are truthful. Let us change translator. I'm actually trying and to learn Arabic, so. Huh? I'm, I'm learning Arabic right now. So. Yeah, so you can see it here. You can copy, actually. You can do this. You can copy this word, the two words. Put them in Google. You will see. In Quintum Sadiqin. Sadiqin means, if you are truthful. You know? So, the Quran accusing the angels, Allah accusing the angels, that they are a bunch of liars. So, how they are holy? When you say, if you are truthful, tell me the names of those things. And then they fail to tell the names. They fail to tell the names. That means they are not truthful. No, no, but they didn't lie, though. Okay, okay. They did not lie. So Allah, He is using the wrong word. He said to them, "If you are truthful, yeah, not yeah, you yeah. Are, if, you, if you are, He didn't say if you are right. He said if you are truthful. Which means what they said is not true. No. And what is the opposite of a truth? No, 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 no. You're, you're understanding it wrong, I think. So, okay, my friend. Yeah. What What is the opposite of a truthful? Yeah, it's, it's uh, untruthful. Huh? Untruthful. I mean, if you just... Untruthful. Add, um, yeah. That means they are liars. Yeah. Okay. So, if Allah is a challenge, then if you are truthful, tell me the names. They were able to tell the names? No. So, they are not truthful. And therefore, he ordered them to bow down to Adam as a penalty for what they accused Adam with. And guess what? They were right, actually. And Allah was wrong. Because Adam later healed the machine then. So the angels were right. And Allah is wrong. The whole story is stupid. Dude, so now... <laughs> See, he, he, he never disagreed with them. He never what? He never disagreed with the, with the angels. Allah no, he, he did. When? Show me where. Well, he's, he just said to them, if you are truthful, they said to him, okay, yeah. my friend, they said to him, are you going to, he said, I'm going to create somebody, okay? Mm -hmm. said to who? To the angels. Uh, they said to him, who oh, are you going to create someone who will do mischief, man, and shed the blood, while we are the one who praise you and sanctify you? Mm -hmm. Allah answer said, I know what you know not. Okay, so what did he disagree with? Let us see. And then yeah. Allah, he taught Adam the names. Allah, he want to show them that he knew what they knew not. The, but the angel already made an accusation, right? They claimed he would do mischievement, correct? Yeah, he didn't disagree with them, though. All right. So he taught Adam the names, and he told the angels, okay, tell me the names of those things, if you are truthful. Truthful about what? About Adam would do mischievement. Correct? Mm-hmm. Okay, so they, are they truthful or not? Okay, I'll, I'll have to get back to you on that one. Hmm. I'm not too sure. But guess, my friend, the one who is not truthful here is Allah. Because they were right. No, they were right, but he never disagreed. Where, where did he disagree? No, he, he disagreed. He disagreed. No, 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 no. no. And if you are truthful, no, my friend, he, he did not say, I agree with you. He said, if you are truthful, and then because of that, uh, they say, forget of, you know, subhanak Allah, you know, we, we have no knowledge except what you taught us. Then he said, and then we said to, to the angels, bow down to Adam as a penalty. Mm. Because they accuse him falsely. I mean, that's your own assumption that it was... As I am not on. You, you can open the interpretation. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Verse 32, 34. Yeah. Who is more holy, a human or uh, or, or angels? Who is more? Who is more holy? Who is more, let's say, a, 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 a clean, you know, let's say. Clean? Obviously angels, because they don't have a chance to do sins, because they don't have Why angels? Why angels are because they don't have free will. Why angels going down to Adam? Because he's a creation. 
of, of Allah. And they are creation too, so what? Just because they're holy doesn't mean that it doesn't let them bow down to him. So angels are not higher than men. No, they, not they are. They are. So why they are bowing down to a man? I mean, look, just because they're bowing down doesn't really mean anything. Okay. So isn't it bowing down is an act of worship? Huh. Huh. We are not saying we are not saying salute him. We are saying bow down. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So your God Allah is the first one who taught polytheism. He just ordered the angels to bow down to a man. Yeah, you're right. You're actually right. So you know the nature thing according to this. That uh, bowing to Adam is something normal everybody should do. If angels bow down to Adam, all of us we should bow down to. That's weird. Yeah, that's really weird. Okay. Now, angels they bow down to Adam, Allah accused them to be untruthful, and He punished them by bowing down. How Muslim they claim that the Holy Spirit is an angel? He was with the angels, and all the angels they go down. Yeah. Is is Adam is a holy man? Say it again. Is Adam a holy man? Is Adam a holy man? Yeah. I mean, it really depends what holy means. If he commits sin. Okay, so still be how holy. how the Holy Spirit bowing down to Adam? There's one in the Quran called holy. That is it called holy by mistake? It's holy because they're just you know following what Allah has commanded them to do. They're not. I well, no. I mean, this is not right because I just saying here we go. Allah did not command them to accuse Adam falsely. He did. They did. They did. They claim that he is going to do mischievement. Allah, he told them, no. I know what you know not. And actually, uh, Ahmad, I want you to focus with me. Don't you think this is a very stupid story? Imagine, I say to you, oh, Ahmad is going to do drugs. And then, mm. you, uh, your father said to me, with my respect to him, oh, Christian Prince, you are a liar. Mm. He will not do drugs. And I'm going to prove to you that he don't do drugs. So he go, he bring a bunch of cats. One of them, he call her Mimi. The other one, Susu. The other one, Dudu. And then he don't said forget to me, Fifi. Also Fifi. Fifi and Fifi. And so Fifi. and he said to me, Okay, Christian Prince, can you prove to me that you know by telling me the names of those cats? <laughs> <laughs> see, I mean I this is really Yeah, yeah. Isn't it stupid? You see, what about he make them give the names because he wanna prove now that he knew, right? Not me. He wanna prove that he have more knowledge. So you give the names for the cat, and now you are asking me to tell the names. What about we do it to you? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I want to prove to you that I'm knowledgeable, then I can tell you, okay, you go give your cat a name in your head, don't tell me, and ask me what the name of the cat in your head. I will tell you. That is really something, correct? But you tell the names of those things to Adam, and you are the one who named them, and then you ask them to tell, and that proves that you are no knowledgeable. <laughs> You're making a lot of sense. That's stupid, isn't it? Let's just be honest. This is stupid. Yeah, but I don't think that's the meaning of, of the verse. The, the, this is a story is stupid. The whole story is stupid. The whole there's story? No, no don't you have a very similar story in... No, no, we don't have such a thing. And suddenly, and not only that, you see, when Allah, he told Adam and Eve to go and eat from the uh, garden, but don't eat from the tree. This is a story he's copying from the Bible, but he adds stuff and he took stuff to make it stupid. Then Shaitan, he caused them to deflect and therefore they were expelled from the happy state. Okay. Mm -hmm. Adam, he received word from his Lord. Adam, he prayed to Allah to forgive him. Wonderful. 
after he forgave him, Allah is angry. He said, get down, both of you. You will be enemy to each other <laughs> until the day of judgment. So you just forgive the guy. So, and not only that, you know, when Allah, when Shaitan, he, uh, uh, he, he did mis deceive Adam, you know, Allah told Adam, get down. He told Allah, Adam, uh, sorry, Shaitan, get down. So how Shaitan get to get back? When, when, if you go back in the story here, when Shaitan, he refused to bow down to Adam, Allah, he ordered Shaitan to, to get out of heaven. Mm -hmm. Before Shaitan, he misled them. Yeah, and he came back. Okay, how he came back? As a serpent. Okay, how he came back? I mean, you, you see, the Muslim Sorry, yeah. they say, and you're a Muslim, if Allah wants something, he said, be is going to be. Okay, so Allah kicked him out. The guy, he can come again? Can I go now to heaven? No, you can't. Okay, so how Shaitan can get in? According it's, to the Muslim it's story. It's a different it's heaven. It's, it's the garden. So not like... No, the, the heaven is in heaven. The sky is harder. You know, I am now in the earth, right? Mm. So Allah told him to get down. That's mean he went down to earth. So how he was able to come back? Yeah, he's he's a jinn. He can fly. Ah, he can fly. I like that. You know, I, you know, I, I, I used to fly by the way, by the way. But you know, yeah, you have a carpet. Say, Did you have yeah, no, but carpet? not not by flying carpet. You know, just uh, change your name to Joe Biden. You will fly everywhere. You're high <laughs> always. So, uh, so the whole story is really stupid. And actually, according to your prophet. Mm -hmm. Shaitan, he convinced the snake to enter inside her so he can get inside the heaven again. And then Allah, he punished the snake and he made her without belief. So Muhammad, he took the story from the Bible where the snake presented Satan and Muhammad, he come now with his own story that Shaitan, he got inside the snake because the snake agreed to make Shaitan go through and this is how the guard did not notice that Shaitan got in by allowing the snake to come get in. And he was able to whisper to the, to Adam and Eve. And then, uh, you know, uh, Adam and Eve commits sin. Nope, no issues with the, the stories for me. Huh? There's no issues with the story. There's no issue in the story? For me, anyways, because so, I have full faith. Are you saying, okay, hold on. So, yeah. If I now go inside a snake and I go in the airport and they have security check and they have the scanners and they could not notice that there is something inside the snake and this is the security of Allah. Yeah. How that? This is mean he have a very bad security. Maybe. Maybe. That's, maybe. Uh, that's confirmed already. Not maybe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, Ahmed, I don't know where we are now, but do you think Shaitan, he can go to heaven now? Oh, that's a good question. Can Shaitan go to heaven? You said he's Shaitan, he can go. You said that. Uh, did he actually leave heaven? Just show me where he says. Sorry, what? Did he? Did the Shaitan actually leave Heaven. Oh yeah, let's go. On. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if we're, we're exactly. Because I'm not sure. Maybe he did. I just want to make sure. So the Allah, He said to the Shaitan, He will go. Chapter two, verse number thirty-six. Uh, uh, let's see. No, this is go to other one. Uh, by the way, uh, CP, what time is it where you are? Because you, you always make it very late in the EU. Why, why, why are you doing it late? It depends, you know, sometimes because I have four wires, sometimes it's hard to sleep, my friend. Yeah. It's not easy. You know. no uh, I don't know if you have four wires like me or, you know. No, no. Only you. Only for wife and for mother-in-law, so you can use your imagination. What would happen? Oh, that's a lot of trouble for mother for mother-in-law. Oh. If you have for wife, you will have for mother-in-law. You know, a lot of trouble though. 
Yeah, but it's fun. You will spend your life having fun. So look what this verse is saying here. Allah, he cursed shaitan, then he told him, get out of it, you know. Uh, chapter 7, you know, verse number 18. So he said to him, go forth from hence, uh, degrade, uh, punish, as such of them, uh, translation is really weird. Let's go to the front yeah, translation. It's, it's, uh, it's the, I think this guy was using global when he translated. Yeah. But the funny is, Yusuf Ali, according to uh, uh, Yasser okay. Kadi, he doesn't speak Arabic. Holds the narration. Yeah, yeah. Yasser, Yasser Kadi, he said, Yusuf Ali doesn't speak Arabic. I know that. I've heard that before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Allah said, get out from this. Got out from this. From where? From heaven. Disgraced and expelled. Correct? I mean, it's clear. Expelled. Get out of where this is in heaven. And then, right away, and Adam, well, he said to Adam, okay, and you'll live in the heaven, in the garden, enjoy it, you know. And then the Shaitan began to, to whisper to them, but he told him, get out. Maybe on the way, you know, he's on the way huh? outside. On the way outside, he's like, ah, in Starbucks. I mean, things happen in Starbucks. <laughs> You know, I used to go to Starbucks, and you know, there's a lot of people whispering to me, man. I cannot believe it how many they whisper, like, you know, people inside me and around me, like, you know, on the side here, on the side there. And everybody's talking a lot of whispering. You're right. Uh, I don't know, man. To be honest, I don't know. So, uh, you know, Ahmed, I will ask you just one more question. What is making you stay as a Muslim? All the other things. Like, there's something like I just don't know. Uh, give me the most. Give me the most strong thing will make you stay as a Muslim. Most strong thing. Okay, uh, that it's true monotheism. Monotheism. That's wonderful. You see. But don't you think? I mean, who, uh, you know, what monotheism doesn't really prove anything because if somebody have ten thousand God and they are true God, it doesn't make him wrong. Yeah, agree? but but you can't have two three gods because okay let's say um does your god like know everything right he's all known mm -hmm. okay so obviously if jesus is god right so why in mm -hmm. mark thirteen thirty two does he say only god the the father knows when the hour or when the day of i don't know mm -hmm. what you call it you know do you know do you know what the word father mean yes dad father uh, what father I mean when you say somebody say father father yeah no, i know what does that mean it means father the dad but, but does it mean does it mean like he is you are his son and he is the father it's mean he is authority and you get your authority from him okay no problem okay so let's say you are a crown prince you are a crown prince because of who father because of the father correct yeah. Okay. Isn't it Jesus says always that my father sent me? Yeah. Didn't he say everything I have is given to me from my father? Yeah. Okay. So Jesus repeatedly he uh, 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 assure us that all the authority the son he has, he has it from the father. So why the son is going to be the one who will announce the judgment day when the authority is given to Jesus himself is coming from the father? So no, no, it's no. Very it's, hold on. It's not about uh, who gives the authority. It's about him not knowing. No, no. This is not about. Okay. You, you will see. Actually, if you read the same chapter, you will see Jesus. He said this thing and this thing and this thing and this thing and this thing. And this thing will happen. So he knew. But he don't. What he's saying, nobody should know. Not even the son, because that is in the authority of the father. He will announce it. So but of Jesus, that day, the hour knows no man, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the sun but the father. No problem, because, you see, the son he have a job, the father he have a job, and Jesus, he said, I do what my father do. I do what my father do, right? But what he do is what the father told him to do. So there is a job for the son, this is what the Trinity is, the Trinity, there is a job for the, 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 the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, there is a job for the father, there's a job for the son. The son, he do what the son need to do. The father do what the father need to do. The spirit does what the spirit need to do. So 
Jesus is in us, well, simply, this is for the Father, it's not even for me. But who is going to come in the judgment day to be the judge? It is Jesus. Jesus said that if my Father gave me the power all over the flesh, the flesh. Okay. So Jesus will be the judge in the judgment day. So his job is to be the judge. The Father, will, the world will announce when the court will start. Okay, so there's going to be two gods in, in heaven. Not two gods, no. You see, this is what the Trinity about. Trinity is one God. You know, the, uh, when I say, like when we talk about a human being, now we speak about spirit, right? Yeah. You are. You have a soul and you have a body, right? Are you yeah. two people or one? It's one people, one person, yeah. Okay, this, the soul have a job, the body have a job, correct? Okay. Okay, but doesn't mean you are two. Are you? Okay, yeah, yeah. I get you. So, so uh, and you know, uh, when when we speak of the Trinity, we're not speaking about different God, this God and that God. We are speaking that God the Father, He sent His only begotten Son to what? To save us. He have a mission, and the mission yeah, is to be a yeah, not a prophet. No, no, a prophet. No, He, he does say. say. No, he, he said, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. What was it? Matthew twenty one eleven. And the Mottis yeah, really. said, this is Jesus, the prophet, Nazareth of Galilee. They are saying that. It's not what he said. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I guess. People, they can call me fool. Doesn't mean I am fool. People can call me crazy. Doesn't mean I'm crazy. People, they can call me holy. Doesn't mean I'm holy. People, they call. So he's a prophet because he prophesied. The real prophet actually is God. There's no prophet except God. All prophets, they prophesy in the name of God, which means that real news is coming from who? Coming from God, correct? Yeah. That means okay. the true prophet, the first prophet is God himself. So Jesus is a prophet, Jesus is a teacher, Jesus is a rabbi, Jesus uh, is the son of God, Jesus is the son of man. Jesus, the whole description is just who is Jesus. But that will not change anything, for he is, in all those aspects, he is a true. And if you go to the Quran, we will find that Allah is not God. As an example, you mentioned to me how Jesus can be God, right? And yet he say, my father, right? Only my father, okay? Let us switch the name, the Father to Allah. Do Allah knew the day of judgment? No. Do Wait, he knew? Sorry, say it again. I, I wasn't concentrating. Say it, say Do it. Allah knew the day of judgment? Of course he does. Okay, how do you explain this to me, man? You know, in the That's Quran, right. if, you go, if you go to the chapter of the moon, he said, the moon split asunder and the judgment day is near. Yeah. Okay, is that a sign of the judgment day or it was false sign? It's a yeah, it's definitely a sign. It was what? It's a sign, it's a sign. Okay, but this is 1400 years ago. Yeah, no problem. Still a sign. But he said, it, no, he said, no, this is a problem. You see, if I'm a, if I'm a prophet now, mm -hmm. forget about God, I'm a prophet. I say the June split and the, uh, you know, the judgment day is near. And then year after year, after century, after century, and nothing happened. No issue. What do you mean, no issue? No issue. It's it's it's. So it's so if so I say now, if I say now the judgment day is near, that means a billion years from now is okay. Okay, Still define near. Define near. Where do you draw the line where near is? Well, see, in Arabic, this is Arabic. It says a tarabat is sa. Yeah. Tarabat is very it's close. Closer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your prophet, he explained. He said, "This is child." He saw a child. He will not reach the age of being old until the hour will come. What? No. No, that's not true. That's not true. Say it again. Say what did you say? Your prophet, he saw a child. He said, "This child will not grow old until the judgment day, the hour will come." So, is it? A hundred year, a thousand year, as you say it, or it is eh, 10, 20. I mean, the haram, haram is like somebody in the age of Jesus, maybe 30, 33, 35, not 3,000 years. So, your prophet plus the Quran confirm that the judgment day is going to happen very, very soon. And this is a few years from now, not a few centuries. Let us go here. And let us read the hadith together. And the Muslim, they try to fix it. You know, they say, oh, he's talking about the day he will die. But it says, asa, the sa, you know, the sa, the last hour. So they try to fix it. Here we go. Uh, 
So this, if young, this, if young boy, if this young boy lives, he's not even sure he will live. He may not grow old till he would see the last hour coming to you. In Arabic, hatta taqumusa. I ask anyone what taqumusa mean? Mean the day of judgment. Do you see it? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. So he will not grow old, and before he grow old, he will see the last hour, the day of judgment. So how Muhammad he claimed? Show, show me, show me the one again. Show me. Huh? Please. Okay, let me show you. Okay. Please. Okay. No problem. Mm. Mm. And this is Sahih, very Sahih. Yeah, I know. And you can go copy Taqumusa, put it in Google, sir, you know, and you will see Taqumusa always mean the yeah, judgment yeah. thing. Sa is the hour. So he said, he may clear, if this young live, if he live, he will not grow because the hour is coming. And he's, even he mentioned, even the Muslim translation was trying to cover it up, they say the last hour coming to you, to you all. So if Muhammad here received his knowledge from his God, well, his God gave him false prophecy and he's a false prophet. Okay. Tapumsa. So Sa is an hour and then like until it finishes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there, there could be, you know, ikhtilaf in that one. It could be what? Yeah, it's, it's ikhtilaf, right? Ikhtilaf. This is a, a false prophecy. This is a false prophecy. I say to you. I mean, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the actual word takum sa. The like, takum sa is sa. Sa is hour. That's it. There's no yeah, other yeah. thing. Hour. Yeah, hour of like the time. Takum. Takum sa. See, sa is a time. When you say takum sa, qiyam sa is the day of judgment. Everybody knows. And you know that. Yom al qiyama. Correct? Yom al qiyama. Takum sa. Yeah. Okay, so this is the hour of judgment day. It's very possible, yeah. Hmm. So Muhammad is a false prophet. And everything would prove him false prophet. Did you see how the Quran say the baby is made? You know, uh, I we Muhammad. talked about this last time. Okay, so but isn't it obvious that this is false? I read about it and I, I was convinced yeah. that it was. And is it true By the way, that just the... just just back to the Mark thirteen thirty two. Was he lying or was he telling the truth? Who? Jesus. Was he lying or telling the truth? Lying about what? When he said that no uh, no man knows the hour, but the Father. Why he was why he is lying? Because he said no man knows the hour. Yeah, because this is the Father. He said it clearly. Who is the one who will accomplish? Who will announce the hour? And you see, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Christianity, no, but it, it says my friend, my friend. The the judgment day in Christianity is not like in Islam. It's not a preset date to be announced. It is. You remember the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? Yep. If you go to the Bible, read it. You will find that if there is, he said, if there is, what about if there is uh, like a uh, hundred people are decent, you will destroy the city. He said no. What yep. about maybe fifty? Are they destroy the city? He said no. If what about the ten? You destroy the city? No. So what it's mean that the hour of destruction would happen when almost no decent people live, no more. Mm -hmm. So the judgment day, because we believe in free will, it is us who make it faster or we make it slower. This is why the day of and the hour will be announced based in our decision, not God decision. The more we are corrupting ourselves, the faster the judgment day will come. As long as there is still some, there's decent people, God will not come to that time to announce the hour and to do the judgment. Still, there is people, you know, still living, they are doing fine. There is a, so corruption increase. The faster we increase the corruption, the faster judgment they come to us. Okay, but you didn't answer my question. It's like, I did not I answer you. Jesus is not lying. The Father is the one who is in charge. He will announce the day of judgment. Yeah, no problem, answer. but he, he says that no one, no man, no, no, no. Yeah. Knowing. It because says Jesus it is all knowing. Only, my friend, it's all. This is not about Jesus is all knowing and who is not knowing. We yeah, believe well, it says Trinity. no. No, no. You see, the Trinity, the Trinity, 
is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and they don't go and they don't oppose each other. So the, the Messiah, the Son, is always obedience to the Father, always. Yeah, so this is why he called him the Father. You know, it's not the Father is obedient to the Son; it is the Son obedient to the Father. So this is in the hand of the Father, as we say. You know, the Trinity is very simple. We, the Spirit does what the Spirit does, the Father do what the Spirit, the Father does, and the Son does what the Son had to do. So it is the job of the Father to announce the day of judgment. So it is for Him. And in the same time, uh, uh, when Jesus speak about this and this and this and this and this and this and this, all those things you can count them, they will happen. And when the last generation will witness the last event then the day of judgment will happen. So what Jesus he is saying to us, I know what people will do in the future, but it is not for the sun, not for the angels, not for anyone, but to the Father. So Jesus here is confirming the authority of the Father that he That's is That's not what it one. says. Are you reading King huh? James Version? Are you reading King James? We can read it. We'll go ahead, read it. Yeah. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man. Knoweth. Yeah, so I just said that. I said yeah. nobody knows. Okay, yeah, nobody so knows. But Jesus... Who is the one who knows? Only the Father, correct? No, but the Son must also know because He's all knowing, because He's God. No, no. The, the Son is all knowing. Is uh, You see, everything I have is given to me from the Father. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, so this is what the Father gave the Son. Yes. Okay, so the, the Messiah, he announced what he received from the Father. Ah, so at that moment, he doesn't know. Well, he knows exactly what will happen in the future, but the day of the day of judgment, because it's not a preset, it is for the Father to announce it. Ah, okay. No problem. You know, like, uh, you see, uh, you know, uh, you go home, let's talk about the word son and father for normal human. Uh, you know, you have a sister, somebody is asking for her hand, but it's a family thing, you know, like the family. So, you know, people ask you, do you, you know, you are not lying. It's a, you say, it's to my father to decide, I don't know, you know, my yeah. father, it's not me. I'm not the, the house uh, lord. It is the father who will announce the engagement. So you are not lying. You are telling them, it's not me. This is not my job. It's not for the man to know, and for a reason. Because if people they knew when the judgment they will be, then everybody will behave a second before. <laughs> mm. Suddenly everybody is praying, suddenly everybody repent. The Lord, he makes it clear that he will come like a thief in the middle of the night. But it doesn't mean night, it doesn't mean a thief. It means when nobody expecting him to come, he will come. When nobody think he is coming, he will be there, because he will take you into a surprise. But what Jesus confirmed that it is for the Son, the job, to judge the flesh. It's not the Father. So if you read carefully, you will see the Son have a job, the Father have a job, the Spirit has a job. This is what the Trinity is. It's not like, you know, uh, oh, all of them, they are doing the same thing. No. You know, like when Jesus, he said, uh, like we, you know that Christian believe that you are you're going to be born again, correct? Uh, yeah, I think I don't know. What born again mean? Is are we going to be born again really? Like we go inside our mother and we come back? No. No. We so will it's... be born again by the Holy Spirit. Is that correct? Oh, okay. Yeah. So what what is the job of the Holy Spirit? What the Holy Spirit is doing? You know, I I mentioned before in the beginning of this video that uh, uh, there is a soul. Human beings have a soul, and he have a body. Both, they will make him an animal. Same as a cat, same as a dog. But the Spirit of God will make him a human because now he has understanding of right and wrong. So when you as a human, if you decide to live as a soul and as a body, you are just an animal. You, can, you don't mind even to have sex with your mother because you are just an animal. But if you are a person who decide to allow the Spirit of God to be with you, to go within you, then the Spirit of God will be your thinking, your ethic, 
your human decision for right and wrong and it's going to be your guideline so the spirit have a job it's not a wind as the muslim they say it's not a fountain of water it's not a gypsy cola to make us enjoy life the spirit have a job of guidance within us in an invisible way the messiah is the word of god who become in a flesh which means he is the visible image of the invisible god the word become a man he have different job he have the permission to be in the earth to come as a man to speak to us and to teach us god the father is the one who sent the holy spirit and the son to do what they need to do <clears throat> mm. okay well that's a good answer yeah. uh okay. just can i ask you i know you're probably not the person to ask i should probably ask some but uh just one more question about the bible mm. can god regret you see, what we when we read in uh, Bible translation, you see regret. Uh, mm -hmm. I can show it from the Quran. Allah regret, you know, as if Allah. So regret. Uh, uh, God here, He feels sorry for Adam. He created him to be happy. Mm. He created him to be in, in garden, in heaven. What you did to yourself. So the regret here is not He is like, uh, oh, I made a mistake. No, I feel sorry for you. You know, this what how, how do you know that's the translation? Can you verify that? No, no, translation is accurate. It's not wrong. But you see, in languages, like in Arabic, we can say something, you know, uh, and it mean it mean exactly what the translation is saying. But you need to understand by based on the word exactly what the word meant. So, uh, if I am God, the one who created you, uh, why I uh, I regret creating Satan, but I created him as an angel. Mm. you understand so God when he speak like this he is saying well you know what I gave them free will and look what they did to themselves so I feel sorry for themselves he is not regretting his decision because that would not affect him I mean what if there is Satan if you if there is me and there is you and we curse God every day we say the dirty word to God every day and one day God will send us to hellfire we did nothing to him nothing will affect him so the regret of a human is you making a decision you wish you did not do it because it was wrong but in the case of the bible jesus god he says god the father well i feel sorry for the man for what he did to himself for he took himself out of heaven i told him don't eat from the tree because if you do you will die he told him right yeah. okay so the punishment of sin is death so when God, he say, I regret, you know, he is saying, I feel sorry for you. Otherwise, uh, Adam commits sin or Adam commits sin, what that would do to God. But because our father is God of love, he loves us. So he feel bad for us. He is not regretting his decision. He is feeling bad for what we did to ourselves. So this is why the Bible says, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. Not because he hate us so do god regret creating us no did he regret creating adam no he what he is saying i feel sorry for you the foolishness of the man is there's tons of verses in the bible about the foolishness and what the man he did to himself you can you know you can feel free and you can read it like you know uh, uh, if we go uh, uh, when when god as an example in the book of job he says in his hand is the life of every creature and the breed of all mankind. So all, all is under his control. Doesn't matter how much we breathe, doesn't matter how we live, doesn't matter how much we sin, it still is in the control of the Lord. Yeah, uh, he's it, huh? Yeah, he's infinite. Yeah. Uh, you know, when God, he speaks about the spirit, as we were talking about the spirit, uh, the spirit in, in a person, the breed of Almighty, the giving which giving them the understanding. So God, He gave us His spirit. This is not the soul, the spirit. He gave us the spirit to understand, and yet we fight the spirit like what the Muslim they do, and they follow a pagan god, kissing black stones, worshiping false deity, 
And the excuse is how God can be three and one at the same time. But isn't it God is God? He can be whatever he wants. And still, we believe in monotheism because being one and three in the same time does not change his monotheism. But even if the God of the Christian is a three God, not one, still that will not change anything because it's not you who tell God what to be. If God said, I want to be 10 million, who are you to tell him what? Oh, I don't like you to be 10 million. I want you to like to be one. Hello, you know, you, you cannot force your rules on God. And, you know, when the Quran says, and this way we, you know, we uh, switch the Bible, you said to me the monotheism, when the Quran says, if Allah decides to take a son, he will take it from ourselves. How that can be monotheism? So, what do you mean? Allah, he said, if you want to take a son, I will take a son from ourselves. Yeah, no problem. Okay. What do you mean, uh, yeah, if he is one, how he will take a partner from himself? From himself means from, from the heavens, like not just a human from earth. No, us, from us. You see, when we talk from, my friend, if I want to take from us, that means there's us. I want to take a partner from us. Mm. So, if we want to take a son, we will take the son from us. How many us we have? Well, us means me, because that's uh, the, you know, it just mean majesty, now, majesty. No, 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 it does mean me. No, no, let me tell you why, because you are talking about taking a partner. Are you taking yourself a partner? And this partner is a female. Mm-hmm. Is Allah is a male and female at the same time, and He is two and one? He's infinite. He, he will, so, how He will take a wife, Lahwan? Lahwan is a wife, you know? Yeah, yeah I know. Okay. He will take a wife from us. Okay, you said to me, uh, us mean uh, majestic as Muslim declaim, which is actually proven it's not to be false again. Why? Because you are right. saying Allah will not be happy to call Himself I, He gets excited more to be us. You know, yeah, that's up to him. Yeah. So uh, why he want to say us if he is one? Because it's up that's to him. It's more the respectful. Uh, also, also, also that's the way. That's the way the tribes not, back then used to talk in Arabic. Look what you did. You yeah. said to me, it's up to him. So when you want, it's up to him. When you want, oh, we believe in Allah is one God. When you want, it's up to him. Mm. But no, it's not up to him. Why? Because that is a contradiction of being one. Yet he want to take a partner from us. Hmm. It is not about up to him now. He is contradicting himself because if I am the only one of my kind, how I'm going to partner with someone from us, which means from my kind, if there's no other kind beside me? Yeah, you're right. So the oneness of Islam does not make sense. You see, if if uh, if the Muslim believe in the Trinity, well, I can say then, okay, you know, uh, this God is not alone. They believe in Trinity, like Allah the Father, maybe Allah the Son, you know, maybe. But you you claim that there is only one. His name is Allah. There is no one beside him. And then, if Allah want to take a partner, i.e., a wife or a son, we will have take it from us. And you remember, you know, Ahmed, I'm sure that the rule of, uh, you know, you cannot, you cannot marry a, a, a dog to a donkey, right? I mean, dog marry a dog, a horse, maybe a horse can with a donkey, maybe, but they're from the same family. So in order for a wife to be the wife of Allah, shouldn't be from the same kind of Allah? Is the wife would be a human? Yes, yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, that's why he's saying it just doesn't make sense. And not only this. If the wife is not a human or is a human, by saying us, he confirmed the nature of both. So if the wife is a human, that means Allah is a human. If the wife is from the nature of Allah, that means both are from the same nature, but still they are us. Hold on one second. Uh, yeah, see, so what he's saying is, if you want to take a pastime, that means if you wanted to be human, he would take a wife that was human. So he's basically saying he's not human. 
That's no, what, that's my interpretation. No, my friend. Best time is not even exist. The word lehu in Arabic is mean, I mean women. You can open its interpretation of al-tabari, al-qal, or tabi al-jalalain, whatever you want. The interpretation, the word lehu in the language of the Arab is a woman. So if we want to take, and this is why the between two brackets, they are saying to your wife, did you ask yourself what they are saying, wife? Hmm. Yeah, no, but what? yeah, this 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 thing is, is for only made for humans. Like a god wouldn't do that. My friend, so what for a human? He's talking to us. We are the human, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem. If, if I want to take it, I will take it from us. Us who? Yeah, I don't know. We know this is made for a human. I understand. This is the message sent to us, correct? And this guy, he keeps saying he is the only one. And now, if you want to take a partner, he will take it from us. You know, it's not a secret. I mean, the word us means there is many, and they have to be from the same kind. If you have a dog next to you, you don't say he is us. When you say us, I don't. I will not understand that the dog is 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 us too. Correct? Mm. The dog is a dog. Us mean a group of whatever, a human, and they are considering themselves a group. Not only just us. Like you know, if I go now down in the city, uh, somebody he says, "Who is Arab here?" I will say, hey, "Us." I mean the Arab. I don't mean everybody. Correct? Mm. So here we are talking about taking a partner specifically. And the partner is from us. So there's two qualifications. First, to be a partner with God, you have to be God. Mm. You cannot be partner and you're human. Who are you? You are not equal to partnership can mean the person who have, let us say, a few thousand dollars in his bank, go and become a partner of uh, Elon Musk. That would be funny. He would not even say hello to me. <laughs> Is that true? Maybe not, you know, your, your CP. What I, what I would say to him, I, know, I have a computer, I have an old car, what, uh, what, he would, what, what he would get from the benefit of my partner. So don't here, know. Maybe he knows you, the CP famous, you know? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, but I'm saying logically, you yeah, know, yeah. what he need me for, this guy, he want to go to the space, I am, he want to go to the to the grocery store, you know, so yeah. we, we have, we are from different, uh, you know, category, he is so rich, I'm so poor compared to him. Yeah, I understand, CP, look, listen, yeah. I, I yeah. understand everything you're saying, and I'm going to think about, like, all that you said, and I'm going to read both Quran and Bible, and I'll come back to you, like, no next problem. stream. So yeah, okay, Ahmad. I like you actually. You're a nice person. But listen to me, Ahmad. Yeah. You, know, you know, when they try to downgrade Jesus, you need to understand that Jesus, he made it so clear in many places in the Bible that I am the Son. And that telling you a lot about who is he. The Son, he have a duty of a son. Otherwise, he would say, I'm the Father. You know? So why he say he's a son? Because simply he is the son, and the son he have a duty to do as a son. The father is called the father for a reason. It's just not not names, you know. This is not names. So the father, the son, the Holy Spirit, it's a perfection of God together. The same as the water, it's H2O. It is for a reason it exists. It's not to H2O happen by accident. You know, the Muslim, they were saying to me, Allah, he created everything, every living thing from water. But even water is three. Even your prophet, even your God, when he say things, he repeated three times. In the name of Allah, of Rahman, of Rahim. Allah, Rahman, Rahim. Three. Muhammad, he go, he swear by Allah, he swear three times. If a man, he divorce his wife three times. If uh, Zechariah, he asked God for, you know, proof, sign. He make him, you know, cannot speak for three days. I mean, the three is all over the Quran. When you do evolution, the perfection of evolution is only if you do it three times. Three times for your hands, three times for your face, three times for your ears. I mean, three hands, three times all, all over his time. And yet this guy, he is against the Trinity. But everything he do, 
He is practicing a trinity. Why? They will say to you, every Muslim, this is will make a perfect evolution. Okay, what about I make four? Is that going to be cleaner? No. It have to be three. So Muhammad is a fool. He copied from the Jews. He copied from the Christians. And he do not know why he is copying. He is just trying to make a religion. He don't have one. Otherwise, I challenge any Muslim to tell me what are the secret behind number three. There's no answer. It makes sense only in Christianity. If I type right now the word three in the Quran, you will find it all over or in the Hadith. But why? What is the purpose? Why the perfection of everything is in number three? So either Muhammad he understand that number three is the number of perfection, or he is a fool, is copying other belief, you know. Three times, glory to my Lord, Muhammad, he say. Why three times? What about four? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Glory yeah. to my Lord in Arabic, three times. Okay, what about uh, five? You know? Yeah, I get well, you. Don't and even, even uh, subhanAllah, listen, look, look at this before you go. Subhanallah, thalathan wa thalathin, walhamdulillah, thalathan wa thalathin. Okay, praise be to Allah subhanAllah, 33 times, this is the age of Jesus. <laughs> praise be to Allah, 33 times to Jesus. <laughs> okay, what about 43 times? What's that? Yeah, so I mean, this is stupid. And then uh, all of this, like, you know, three, three, three. I just type the word three and you will find in this, in this, in this reference about the number three, you know? Yeah. Uh, but you don't know why, it doesn't make sense. And you Muslims are against the Trinity, but everything you do is based on the Trinity. I mean, Trinity is numbers. very different from three, the number three, if you do three. No, it is not. It is not. Yeah, it is. No. When you say there's three persons and one God. You see, just, just to show you that, you know, you just you, you just now get your prophet busted. Because your prophet, says, Thalithu Thalatha. The Christians, they, they don't say that Allah is the third of a three. Is that correct? The Quran says that. So yeah. you can't say it's not the same. It is. It's he himself, he gave a definition that the Christian believe that God, uh, he, he called it Allah, is the third of a three. He is number three. So you cannot say this is not what the Trinity is. And you must, and you keep saying to us, you believe in three God. Suddenly now three is not a three. So three person, one God, is what our belief is. We don't believe in three gods. We don't have a three, you know, God. We have one God. And if God cannot, you know, if I want to ask God, how you can be three and one at the same time, as if I'm asking him, how in the world you can even create me? Which one is, is harder, you know? I mean, look at how complicated a human being. You have sensor in every little tiny spot of your skin you have sensor in your brain you have sensors i mean you are a walking sensor machine so if you want to question god how he can do how he can be then god is not god no more however we can question god about claiming to be god yet he is doing ungodly things like the god allah he is doing what is ungodly by promising you a lot of women to have sex with. This is ungodly. I mean, what because about the Amalekites? Huh? What about Amalekites and Samuel? Okay, read the story. You will see that those people, they killed all the Jews. Almost. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. But what do the children have to do with it? Well, okay, why not? What do you mean, why not? Because uh, okay, hold on. they're you not see, responsible if, for their forefathers. No, when, when, when they, when, when, you believe in the flood of Noah? Yeah. Okay, there was no children at that time? There was, but that's a different thing. Okay, so what is the, the children's uh, fault? Okay, I'll tell you. So okay. when you're saying that the Amalekites, they, they were killed, the children, mm. because what the adults were doing mm. before, the generation yeah. before. Yeah. How, how is that justified? Well, it's justified. First of all, you see, God, he give life, God, he take life. In the same time, the war will never end. 
You kill their, you know, you kill them today. Your kids will go tomorrow. They will come and kill you back. Finish the war. What's that's not true at all. This is the true. If what happened? Adopt, if you adopt the kids, let us look. Know. Let us look in Israel. Allah, He told the, the Israeli in chapter mm -hmm. five, verse twenty-one, go and kill the Palestinian. He didn't say kill the adult. He killed all the Palestinians. Mm -hmm. And the Jews in the Quran, they refused to do that. Correct. Hmm. I don't know okay, and what happened until now they are fighting? Until now. And the war will never end. One one of them have to finish the other one. It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a must because they, there is a lot of hate. One is a pagan worshipping a god. His name is Allah. They believe in killing the Jews. They cannot. You cannot take that. Muhammad, he said that, uh, uh, you know, time will come and a Jew will hide behind a tree or, or a rock and the rock will scream say oh there's a jew behind me come and kill him correct mm. how you can fix this problem you cannot fix it that's it it's part of a religion embedded with hate and now the jews they have to live forever fighting for their existence so either the muslims will finish them or the jewish will finish you and if you finish them or they finish you that's it it's over Okay. God, he knew the future. God, Listen, he knew CP. the future. Listen, CP. God, he knew the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, thanks a lot. But I have, I have work, so it was a good right. discussion. No it, was, it was very good Just discussion. One second before you go. When they asked your prophet about killing the children, he said they are from them. Mm. They are from them, you know. And he did not do different from the Jews. He took the slaves. He converted them to Islam. He took their kids, children, converted them to Islam, and then he made them join his army. So what difference is going to make? Imagine you kill their families and now you make them fight against their own families. Thank you, Ahmed, for joining us and good to have okay. you. Ahmed. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. He is getting sleepy and actually I'm getting awake. Uh, so you see, we want to make it like a closing for a work conversation. The most times they think, they, they think wrongly of the Trinity. They think that because Jesus is a, a God, that's mean there is no Father no more. You know, that's it. Jesus is everything, and the Father is not is eliminated. That is not what Christianity teach. Jesus, he said many times, everything I have is coming from the Father. Is given to me from the Father. His authority, everything, everything you have, is from my Father. Because people they speak to him, they see a man. Where is this man talking from? Where, you know, he said, before Abraham, I am. What are you talking about? You're not even 50 years old. He said, truly, truly, before Abraham, I am the living God. So Jesus in this earth, he have a mission. He was sent by the Father. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. The son is the one who do the work in the earth. He is in charge of the flesh. While the Father is in heaven, the Son is a visible image of the invisible God. And the Muslims do not want to understand, not only not to accept. And they lie and they say, we believe in three gods, which is absolutely false. And about knowing the judgment day, well, that is not going to be any issue because, you know, you see that even the Jewish tradition, the father is the one who announced. Even the Arab tradition, the father is the one who announced. And it's not for the son. And Jesus, he confirmed always, it's not for me. This is the father. For me, I am the judge in the judgment day. It's not even the father. The father will not judge one person. Me. I have the authority for the day of judgment. This is my job. So when 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 the hypocrite Jews they come to Jesus and they said, which one should we pay tax to Caesar? Jesus says, well, well, do you have money in your pocket? Show me. It says there is an image of Caesar there. He said, We'll give to Caesar. What to Caesar? The Muslims are the same as those hypocrites. They have the coin. And they claim they don't want to pay tax of Caesar. All of them, they carry dollar. And they say, America is our enemy. Nobody want to save his money in Arab currency. Nobody trusted. 
they trust only the dollar. The Christians are trusted in the Quran. The Jews are trusted in the Quran. The Christians are called people of the book, which means their currency is our book. Our book, we are called by it in the Quran. We are people of the book. Muslims are not. So we are the real money. So they hold us in their pocket and they deny us when they buy their food with us. This is hypocrisy. So I want to say thank you guys. It's getting too late here. You know, I'm here for many hours and I hope we have a good time uh, together. And I see a Muslim trying to maybe want to join us, but maybe my friend next time it's getting late. And uh, Ante will see you soon again. Don't forget to download the video. You can cut it pieces, do whatever you want. And thank you for your support and for your not supporting us at the same time. All is good. God is good. Thank you very much. God bless you. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you for today humbly. Take care. Bye-bye.